Your Excellency, Most Reverend N.D. D'Souza, Bishop of Bellari, and the Regional Chairman for the Commission for Communications, Reverend Father, Reverend Dr. Stephen Alantara, the CCBI Secretary General, Deputy Secretary General, and also one who is in charge of communications, many communications. Dear Mursino Jainadan, our Vicar General, and as Father Sashi rightly said, he is the father of communications in the Archdiocese. Madam Sapna, who has come all the way from Mysore to be our source person today. My dear father directors from different dioceses, my dear father Sudeep, the director of Sandesha, my dear students and experts who have come from different places, my dear brothers and sisters. I'm very happy to open this what we call the point of communications to every one of us. Lack of communication is lack of life today. Because the only way you can say that you are living is to communicate that you are alive. Our breath is a sort of communication. Our breath is a sort of communication. So in every field, in every aspect, in every regard, in every circumstance, perhaps, there is communication. And in a modern world, when the communication is of so varied, we have the PowerPoint, we have the internet, we have the phones, we have the TV, we have perhaps verbal, non-verbal, so many types of communications. And it could happen that what is more important or what is more primary, primary, you see there was a discussion going on between big, big strong words, or from the different countries and international seminar. And each one was trying to prove that his country was the first one to be in communications. And so the American citizens first went and said, We have done a great experiment. We dug almost 600 feet down the earth. And there we found some little copper, some copper material, some copper wires, copper this one. And you can imagine 600 years ago. We had copper cables that carried the communication of the as well. The Russian who was very simply said that this may not be the, the oldest one. Because our country, we also dug up 600 feet and we found a thin air like small wire that was going on, but we got optic fiber and so even thousand years ago we had optic fiber. And it seems there was this Indian man who said, we should be an online. So he also made his presentation and said, see, we have dug, we have dug, we have dug, not thousand, but two thousand feet we have dug. No power, no wire, no fiber. This means that India had wireless communication two thousand years ago. So perhaps we are not wireless. Perhaps we are something less, but then we are also Aristotle is considered as the father of communications of ancient world. And he said that communication depends on five important aspects of our life. First of all, the speaker. The speaker who speaks. And the speaker not only speaks, but he communicates. The second is the audience. It's very important. If nobody is here today, perhaps. I won't be able to make a speech in, and my speech also will not be motivated because I'm speaking to walls and windows today. The, the, the audience is important. The third is the message. The message is also very important. If I don't have anything to say to you, if I'm wasting your time, perhaps you will tell the organizers or a second and the others to say that we have wasted your time because there was no message. Number four is the circumstance. I will open my mouth when I need it. If I don't open, if I open my mouth at the wrong time, it's not good communication. There is something to be said. Perhaps I have to speak about something today, about the country, about the political situation. There is a circumstance, and therefore I speak. And the fifth one, as Paul said, 
is the effect of communication. How to make a speech, how to make you perhaps all the interventions in the school effect. Today when you go back home, perhaps you tell your colleges, we waste a lot of time to hear the more effect of what was said, what was done there. Therefore, these are the five important aspects which we have to have over in communication. I basically think that communication is four-round approach. The first of all, the topic of today is the communication of the heart. The communication of the heart. I will explain a little what means the communication of the heart. The second is communication is a science. It's a science. You have to learn it. You have to learn the techniques. You have to learn the, uh, the, 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 the essence of communication. You have to prepare yourself, your language, your communication, perhaps your output has to be good. It has to be, it is a science, therefore we have to learn it in many different ways. Thirdly, communication is an art. It's not only a science, it's also an art. And fourthly, communication is an experience. It's an experience. First of all, I said, Today's topic, beautiful topic, is the Holy Father. So Francis has given to say that communicating from the heart. You know, that's the best communication. The Holy Father goes back to another saint who is called the Saint Francis the Saints, who said, The heart of education is the education of the heart. The heart of education is the education of the heart. So therefore, the heart is educated. As well as we are being educated fully. So, therefore, the communication part takes the heart because the heart is most central. I don't know whether the medical science says the heart is the most important part of the body, or is it the brain? I don't know. But from time we go, we will say the heart is important. The heart is central. The heart is the essence of the person. And if his heart is okay, everything is okay. But this is not only about chemically, it's also the fact that. Emotionally, heart is a center of emotions. Perhaps the whole body reacts because the heart presents certain emotions to us. When I see a person who I like, perhaps my whole heart goes up to them, my words may not be grammatically correct, but I will say something which catches the heart, the emotion of the person. The heart is also very important in order to express ourselves. You know, the heart expresses. The ways that are so many as well. Blaise Pascal, one of the philosophers, used to say, the heart has reasons, which reason itself does not go. The heart has reasons, which reason itself cannot trust you. That means, ultimately, the heart is important for us in order to decide the things. We tell our youngsters, your parents, perhaps after you know, 10th, 12th, you we are graduation. What do you want to do? K Sara Sara. What do you want to do? Do you want to be a doctor? Do you want to be engineer? Do you want to be perhaps a mechanic or I do not know? And someone said, the youngsters should follow the heart. Say what your heart wants. If your heart wants that you want to be a sprinter, a spokesman, go for it. If your heart says you have to go for the let us say singing, go for it. Perhaps that's the way the heart will take to us in our communication. The same way as the communication is a science. You have to learn. I feel very happy that so many students have come. Some of you are taking notes. Some of you are catching certain bites. Sorry, bites. Because they are very important. Perhaps when you go back home, you operate your computer, your mobile, and transmit to the others. You have to learn many, many things. Things and tactics and things. I know other city busier from Asia. They give long communication courses there and also to express themselves the music, the art, the dance, culture, and beautifully dance play. It's a communication. It's a communication. A dance is a communication of joy. Dance is a communication of our feelings. So they put it's the science. Communication is an art. We can't stop it only at, at the science. If that is the case, I will go on saying it. This is a theory, this is number one, number two, number three, number four. Not necessarily. The art of communication. It is something else. What is last? What is this one? 
you know, these days they are discussing about the world in the victory of 1983. 1983 and 1983, the World Cup when the India won the World Cup, the is mentioned very much because he scored like 1970, something like that, against uh, Zimbabwe, that turned the whole thing and they won the cup. And someone asked the play receivers about how is that you scored that much at the first time? You know, I saw in the audience, I saw in the audience my family. And my family, I don't know whether he was married at that time, they made a sign over me. That the sign was not for me. To tap that to make that to make the sixers to make this thing. It's an art. Communication is an art. And many times, though you have to follow the rules, the best rule is once again I say, follow your heart. Communication is also an experience. It's an experience. If you are not convinced of what you are communicating, of what you are saying, perhaps it's just a show. It's a show. But if you are convinced, what I am saying is I want to make a point for each one of you. That will be the experience that I am feeling and I am trying to communicate to you. So, my dear friends, I know that there are experts. I have some nice stuff. Sapna means dreams, so so I'm sure it will set on fire your journalistic and uh, your media dreams as such. And uh, once you know Jainathan Bhattasabe is speaking, and I'm uh, very grateful to Father Sir and uh, Father Anantara for giving me this chance to open this to in order to soak in you, or rather to soak in you that seed because journalism today is fire. Journalism media today is fire. Perhaps no one is as much respected as a journalist who writes in a corner, but at his teachings or other is what we call as he goes to the world. How do we know about money to do it? It's because of the journalist, it's because of the media that we know something that is happening there. How do we know something that is happening in the US? Perhaps this is the way the world moves to And we media. It's the message. Medium is the message, and therefore it's very important that we keep the right message also. Your word was called the fake messages. The fake messages are doing so much damage. So therefore, as ethical, as someone who is morally responsible, we are also responsible for the education of the heart of the people. I leave you in this, God bless you.